welcome back to my channel and today we start our Christmas DIYs. I'm so excited and I know a lot of you are too. So let me show you what you're going to need to make this project. Okay, first you're going to need the little mailbox that I hauled from Dollar Tree. Okay, and then you're going to need two candle holders. And I'll tell you what I did to them in a minute. And then one of these candle uh, holder just plates. And then you're going to need a bag of the um, presents, little packages. And then you're going to need some Krylon Color Master in the Satin Bright White. Okay? And then after um, you use that, then you're going to need some extra fine glitter. And I got this, it just looked like snow to me. And I got this at Walmart and I got the, um, the spray paint at Walmart too. Okay? And then we may or may not use some of these berries, all right? And then you're going to need some fil monofilament fishing line. And I got this at Walmart, and you can get a lot. Um, this is the six pound that I got, and I use it all the time, okay? And you're going to need some hot glue, and I got a new hot glue gun. <laughs> it's a Stanley, so I'm happy about that, okay? This is going to be a real quick little DIY, but it's going to have a really nice look. So let me move you down here, push this down so that you can see better, okay? Now, the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to spray paint these um, candle holders. And I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but after I spray painted it, I put glitter on it so it would look like snow. And in person, I really achieved that uh, effect that I wanted. It is so adorable, okay? But I, like I said, I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not. I can't tell, okay? And then I did the same thing with the plate. I just, while it was still damp with the spray paint, I just um, sprinkled all that glitter on there, okay? Now, what you're going to do is, well, this is a really simple DIY. What we're going to do is we're just going to stack these on top like that and glue them. Okay, now I haven't used this glue gun before, so hopefully everything will work out really well with it. So far, I'm loving it. Okay, and then we're, all we're going to do is just line that up nicely, press it down, okay? Okay guys, I moved you down because I think that this white is having, with so much light in here, I think it's having problems uh, filming. Ugh, hope not. Okay, so what we're going to do next is just flip this over, put some glue right on the edge of this and as always if you're gonna if anybody's gonna be touching this a lot or you just want it permanent definitely use some fix-all adhesive or e6000 i just for simplicity keep it like this and then if i want to tear it down then i can okay so, okay, you do that, and I wanted it to look like it was just a really cold, cold um, mailbox that Santa had left his packages in, and they were spilling out, or somebody had gotten packages. You can come up with whatever you like. I think so far it's really adorable, okay? Now, what I did is I took the monofilament line and I, well, first let's put some of these in here. 
Okay, now we're going to take some of these packages, and you can use whatever colors that you want. And I don't want to put them all in there, because um, I might want to use it for something else. But, I'm going to start, and I can open up another package that I have right here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I took the monofilament line and I just took a needle and this uh, monofilament line and just went through the edge where I wanted it. And I wanted it to look like the package just were just sort of cascading haphazardly out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on here. for a minute okay and then I'm going to pull these out to put a little bit of more room in between them there we go okay then I'm going to take this and just glue some of these on the bottom I just wanted something very, very whimsical. I love for things to just look whimsical sometimes. This glue is very stringy, I'll tell you that. It's the Stanley. Let me see how I want this one. Maybe like something like that. But there's no right or wrong way to do this. It's just however you like it. And I wanted it to look like they were just sitting in the snow. Okay, and I think I'm going to get maybe another silver one. And then I'm going to glue those together. that like that. Now do I want a red one? Maybe I do want a red one. Do I want this one? Maybe something like But when I saw this, that's the first thing I thought of is, oh my, the packages. So cute. Now I guess I will do maybe a silver one. Or maybe a blue one. Now I'm just going to take that one there. That's what I'm going to do. put this right on this edge because I want it to look like it's just they're falling and cascading out oh that looks so cute that really does look cute okay and then I'm going to put this up and I might put some more right here because how can they be cascading out if... If I don't have enough. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Love it. Okay. Now, I have thought about maybe putting... Um, some berries like on here but I don't know I don't 
I don't know if I will because I kind of want it simple and just clean lines. So I don't know that that's really what I want. If I had some garland, I could have wrapped around it, but I don't have any, but I really don't think it needs it. It is just really cute. And in person, it just glistens like snow. So I really enjoy how this turned out, and you can see it looks super cute. If you would go in Michael's or Hobby Lobby or anywhere and purchase something like this, even Walmart, you would pay a lot of money for this. It's just so cute and whimsical. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.